Hello, so this is the result of the test of the new isolation feet I got and they are called um, Authentic Audio Image Ultra Pads and they cost uh, 1399 euros for a four pack of isolation feet and I got the three pack so the price in American dollars is about a thousand dollars for a for those three isolation feet and the ultra version is the best version of that uh, manufacturer and I compared them against uh, my own $25 alien rock isolation feet which is my cheapest isolation feet and then I also compared the lightspeed asteroid and the lightspeed black rock isolation feet and um, if you want to hear a very short review the cheapest 25 dollar isolation feet of mine are still better than the aai ultra pads which cost 40 times more what about the sound of the aai ultra pad so when i put them under my system I could hear a big flavor change, a big coloration in the sound, and it actually made it worse overall. Firstly, there was a flavor change, a coloration, and it uh, it made the mid-range sound more open, with the il illusion of uh, realism. It gave the illusion of uh, transparency and realism in the mid-range and uh, the high frequencies were rolled off in a similar way as uh, mp3 like when you go from a wave into 128 kilobit per second mp3 where the highs are rolled off and made smoother and less clear so that is what i got from the isolation feeds for a thousand dollars and uh, I have had uh, in the past similar isolation feet, uh, also costing a thousand dollars for uh, for three feet, and they were clear audio magix magnetic levitation feet, and I owned eighteen of them in my system, and. Uh, Now I got these ultra pads, which is from another manufacturer, equally expensive. So I thought, let me try this feed. Maybe after uh, 15 years, there has been some new development in the high end industry. Because the last time I used a thousand dollars isolation feed, it was. Uh, it was year 2008, I believe, and uh, year 2009, I started selling all those magnetic isolation feet. So I haven't really heard those uh, magnetic levitation feet for 15 years. So it was interesting to test uh, those other brands of isolation feet to see you what they are really all about since I haven't tried them for since I started making my own isolation feet okay so firstly the my own isolation feet the light speed black rock uh, they cost twice as much as the ultra pads but they have been in development for since year 2010 so it took 12 years to finish the light speed black rock isolation fit but they are really costly for people so i created something really cheap for 25 dollars for a three pack the alien rock isolation fit and it it it, 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 it uses a very basic alien 
crystal formula. The Alien 2 Ultra crystal formula. In a very simple design. Takes quite a long time to build, but really cheap. Not as good sound as the better uh, isolation fit. But still, even for even the cheapest entry level isolation fit for 25 dollars, it was still much better than the ultra pads from my authentic audio image. And uh, the reason is with the alien rock isolation fit, I got a blacker background, more dynamics, more contrast, more detail, more space in the music, in the music, more analog sound, more mysterious sound. With the AAI ultra pads, it sounded mechanical. Like, uh, like an like industrial mechanical digital sound that wasn't so pleasing to listen to, and the reason it sounded so open in the mid range was because it made my system uh, more loose, and it was. Uh, vibrating more instead of instead of reducing the vibrations of the chassis it actually increased the vibrations and that is what you that is what the sound uh, result is that it, you get more mid-range if the, if there is noise in the system that is when you get more mid-range because the lows and the highs are missing from the music so the mid-range is emphasized you get the exact same effect if uh, you add noise into the system and uh, like from adding radio frequency interference or even having the system cold in a cold state and you turn it on without any warm-up that is when you get that open sound which is noise it is it's noise that's what noise gives that is what noise does to this to the sound it makes the mid-range sound more open because there isn't any inner details that's the reason without inner details the, mu the music sounds more open okay so I'm gonna go now the wind is starting to come back here so I will see you next time rock your audio system goodbye